So I've just left the room of Takesha McKitty at Brampton Civic Hospital. I'm in the parking lot right now and this is the woman that has been declared brain dead for six weeks. It's my first time meeting somebody that has been declared dead um, for and is still hooked up to a machine, uh, a ventilator. And so I don't know what I was expecting when I went into the room, but I think that I was expecting there to be more signs of death than was really there. When we walked in, what really struck me was that she didn't appear to be stiff. She appeared to be very comfortable in the bed, um, almost like she had sprawled out and moved into a position that was comfortable for her. Uh, she was still though, and when we walked in, her father touched her leg and spoke to her and she immediately started responding. You saw her torso move, you saw her legs move, and that continued through our entire visit. She was moving the entire time, um, or at least whenever she was being spoken to or her father was discussing uh, you know, the machines that she was hooked up to or talking about her, she seemed to be aware. So although the physicians say that, you know, these are just spinal cord reflexes and absolute coincidence that she moves when she's prompted to or moves in reaction to being touched, um, I can see why her family would truly believe that she is cognizant of her surroundings and that she is aware of what is happening.